A recent study carried out by a leading fashion magazine revealed a huge number of women, 64% report that looking at pictures on sites like Facebook and Instagram makes them feel bad about their image. We now have a bigger platform than ever to obsess over our appearance. And we're not comparing ourselves to celebrities anymore. It's the guy or girl next door. So today we're talking about image, social media, and how cosmetic procedures can help to enhance your online identity, whether it's for social or for work or even for dating. A show of hands, how many of you are on social media, use social media, embrace social media? You don't. 50%. 50%. Kind of. Okay. LinkedIn. LinkedIn, same thing. LinkedIn. Just LinkedIn, yeah. That's it. That's good for business. That's it, exactly. <laughs> And you know, everybody wants to look good and everybody wants to look their best. But as we get older, it's a lot harder to do. I definitely think people are becoming more aware of how they look simply because of online social media like Facebook, Instagram. People are suddenly realizing what they look like or how they're perceived by other people and therefore are taking greater measures to change that. I definitely can say that a lot of my classmates that I went to school with have messaged me privately or just flat out asked me, what have you done or what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? And why, you know, you look amazing. It's, it's great. Uh, you take such good care of yourself. What's going on? So it makes me feel good too. Social media really does have a big impact on uh, what we do in terms of our features and just looks in general uh, with like Twitter, with MySpace, with Instagram. People are constantly putting their images online and therefore everybody can compare themselves or everybody I find is comparing themselves to what's online, right? So they're using that as a gauge as to what they want to look like. I think in this new age of selfies, which even is a new word in and of itself, we're allowing people to see ourselves in a whole new way and I think it's impacting on how people are perceiving us and we want to change that perception. You know, people are very selective about what photos they post of themselves. Also, I think, you know, the way we see ourselves is not really how other people see us. So, I think that's always shocking, you know, but I think it's true. It's the same with one's voice. We hear ourselves in a very specific way and you hear me very differently than I hear myself. So, um, I think that that's also a trigger for a lot of people to sort of go, oh God, I gotta do something about that. <laughs> yeah, the world's changing. Yeah. It's getting smaller. Like, the universe is expanding, but our world's getting smaller. We're getting to know each other real fast, quick. I mean, and everyone's got a cell phone and yeah. we're taking more pictures of ourselves and others more than ever before. Yeah. And we're posting them. For instance, once, uh, one would love it, if they get like, like on every picture that they post, and opposed to six months prior to that, they got maybe two likes on each picture that they, you know, they post. So if they post more pictures and they get more likes on them, they feel good about themselves. And they say, wow, I look better. And, and they, they could live better. It's a healthy life when you feel good about yourself. Maybe somebody would love the picture because their their uh, their eyebrows look a little different, or or they don't have too many wrinkles, or maybe their jaws a little bigger. You know, we should have like buttons all around our house, all <laughs> around our work. Like, you know? yeah.